What would it sound like if we tried to recreate Mick Gordon's Doom Array using just VST plugins? Spoiler alert, probably sound pretty crazy. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start out with uh, this plugin called Meta Plugin, which actually comes in a VST version. So just a plugin that you can drop on a single channel, but it also comes as an instrument and then you can load other instruments into it. Starting off, we just created a really simple kind of MIDI pattern, which is just kind of a basic sounding synth, nothing too crazy here. This is just kind of the reference for now, kind of give you an idea of, of what we started with and then loaded meta plugin on top of it. So you can see that we start with the MIDI input right here and then we opened up Zebra This is another synth plugin. I just chose the preset HS Amy and then I pretty much just went down the line here and tried to recreate what he used. So this first one has a T808 Tube Screamer VST. It has a 5150 head VST. Uh, this next one is a bit crusher. He had two bit crushers in his in his array, I believe. Um, and this is just another kind of distortion. This is a rat distortion, which is primarily a bass distortion. And these go into an output. The second chain here is another bit crusher. The second one here is a feedback loop phaser. So this is just a phaser pedal. Another phaser pedal. If I remember correctly from Mix Doom Array, he had two phasers right here. So that's kind of why we have two different ones. And then I just chose different parameters, etc. for each one. And then at the end here, we have a compressor called Modern Deathcore, which is meant to imitate the distressor compressor that you've some of you guys have probably seen a lot of the third line of things here. It starts off with a tape echo, goes into this distortion, Devil Lock Audio Level Destroyer. Next thing it goes into, this is EQ, but as you can see, there's no EQs happening here. I just use this to boost the signal. Tape model, and this was meant to imitate the um, tape echo device that Mick Gordon used in his Doom Array. And he also said in his explanation of this that he was sending 40 dBs more signal to that tape device than it could actually handle. So that's the justification here behind using this EQ to really boost the signal, right? Is to really drive a lot more signal into this. And then we turn the input gain up a little bit to, to feed it up even more. After that, it goes into a spring reverb. After the spring reverb, it goes into decapitator. Um, which is just adding a little bit more distortion, compression, etc. And then after that, I added a gate. Mick Gordon didn't have a gate in his original Doom Array, but this channel just makes a lot of noise, so it needs to be gated. So that's why that's there. Uh, the next thing is just Pod Farm. And this is kind of trying to imitate. He, he had a really small practice amp that he ran a mic through um, and created a, a, a infinite feedback loop with. I don't have a way to do that here. So I just decided to pull up Pod Farm and load a small 1x12 practice amp there. And then it just goes into Fab Filter Volcano. I think I just picked a random preset here, kind of whatever sounded cool. Crash Expander. It's Fab Filter Compressor is the next one that it goes into. And then it goes into another compressor. And that's the fourth line in this array. And then all four of these arrays go into the single output. So what we'll do is we'll go in here. We'll just unbypass this and we'll just play um, different octave variations of this so we'll start with the high octave version first let, let you guys hear what it sounds like you can obviously tell that when we go when we mess around with um even if even just changing one knob on on anywhere in that array on any of those plugins it can it can really start to shape the entire sound so let's go to the octave below that here what that one sounds like So that's actually one of the three MIDI instruments that's happening here. All three are playing the same thing. They're just doing different things. So this one is the main wall of sound, Meta Plugin Synth, the one we were just listening to. This one right here is Sinister, which is just a really simple, clean synth pattern. Again, the same notes as we were just listening to, but just no effects on it. This is just to help the low end punch through easier. We're kind of treating this the same way we would treat metal bass 
where you kind of you do the two track method where you split the bottom part into a high end distorted signal and then the low part into a clean comped signal so you can actually hear the bass coming through but it also sounds gnarly this top one is zebra again but just on its own channel and we're using one of the presets that kind of has this weird swooping ambient kind of sound i used the argent compressor to comp the crap out of it and then a tape echo an EQ to boost high end, um, another compressor just to smooth it out a little bit more, and then another compressor which is cutting out some unnecessary EQs. And then for the sinister effects chain, it's just an Argent compressor, a tape model, saturation knob, um, a compressor just to smooth out some of the frequencies, and then we're going to add the meta plugin synth Doom Array, and we're gonna play all three of them together and then kind of adjust the parameters a little bit. So if you like this recreation attempt at Mick Gordon's Doom Array, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments, actually, if you want to see more videos like this, because these are fun to do, trying out different tones and sounds and trying to recreate different stuff. So thanks for stopping by, guys.